Okay, first question, Dustin. Hey, Anthony. Uh, obviously, um, you know, Coach Woodson was just saying that, that you had earned the right to play uh, going into Saturday's game. I guess what what, what do you feel like you, you've done just to uh, just earn his trust? Basically, what, what do you feel like you improved in your game to, to show him that, uh, you know, that, that you deserve those minutes and you, you know, had earned the right to be out there? Yeah, I mean, I, honestly, I don't feel like I changed anything in terms of my play style or my skills or anything, but I just try to stay consistent and keep doing my job every day. And that's just playing as hard as I can and try to make winning plays. So I think just focusing on that and trying to just focus on every day, just being the best version of myself that I could be, I feel like eventually, you know, all the work's going to start paying off and, and it slowly has. So I'm just excited to see where it keeps going. Tyler. Hey, Anthony, I hope you're doing well. Um, what do you feel like is the biggest thing that you learned from last season that you're now able to uh, bring and help you this season? Um, I think the biggest lesson I learned from last season is, is, is that, you know, the confidence that I feel has to come from myself and I can't expect other players or coaches or my parents or fans or anybody to, to give me my confidence. It just has to come from, from myself and come from within. And I think that a lot of that just comes as a result of, of working as hard as I can. So, yeah. Tom Brew. Anthony, uh, Coach Woodson's always preaching to you guys to shoot, 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 shoot. Uh, how has uh, that sort of mindset, um, uh, how have you been able to handle that in regards to just trying to stay aggressive and, and look uh, look to score uh, maybe more than uh, than you did in the past? Yeah, I mean, he's basically given us the green light to take any good shot. So I, I think that's impacted me because, you know, I, I'm still working as hard as I can and working on my shot every day and that kind of stuff. But then in the game, I, I really just focus on trying to make, make the best shot or make the best play ha happen. So when I'm on the court, you know, it might, it might seem as if I'm passing up shots, but I'm really just trying to move the ball, get some ball movement and, and get the, the better shot instead of maybe just a good shot. So I just try to try to make the right play. And, and if that play is me shooting the ball, then I'm, I'm confident that I'm going to knock it down. Mike Pegram. Anthony, you've been around for a year. You, you've played Wisconsin before. Uh, what, what are the keys for you guys uh, tomorrow night? Uh, I think the big keys for us are probably just staying disciplined, staying true to our scout and, you know, just having confidence in the fact that we prepared well and we, we know, you know, what we what we should expect and what to execute. So as long as we execute our game plan and, and keep playing as hard as we can on defense, I think we're going to be in it no matter what. Mike Schumann. Anthony, what do you do to keep yourself ready? I mean, you, you came from a career where you were the star of every team you were ever on, and now you kind of just got to be ready at a moment's notice to jump in and be, you know, physically and mentally ready to, to contribute. What, what are the keys for you to do that? Uh, honestly, a lot of it's just mental. You know, I mean, obviously, physically, you, you have to be somewhat loose, but most of it's just mental and staying mentally locked in and prepared and trying to bring as much energy on the bench as I can so that that can translate onto the court whenever I get in. But in terms of actual playing, I mean, I, I try to emulate that a little bit with, with some of my workouts where I'll start a workout by, you know, not necessarily warming up, but just going straight to shooting a three, shooting threes or, or getting right into it. Whereas that'll kind of translate to how it would be in a game where I, if I come off the bench in the first play I'm in, I need to shoot the shot, then I got to be ready to shoot. So that's kind of my mentality. Alex. Anthony, you mentioned like staying true to the scout at Wisconsin. I'm curious if the process now with the new staff is much different when you prepare for games. Is it, is there a lot of changes in how you do that? And also I'm just curious, like from a morale perspective and what it's like in the locker room, is there a change at all this season compared to last? Um, yeah. And so in terms of the scout, it's, it's actually pretty similar, you know, uh, every coaching staff, wants to win, obviously, and that's their main goal. So they're going to prepare the same way, whether it's watching film or, or going over some plays that the other teams are and all that kind of stuff. So it's pretty similar in that regard. And, and our focus is has got to be locked in. But in terms of like the locker room, the atmosphere, I mean, it, it is a great atmosphere. I don't I don't want to compare anything to this year, or last year, or last year's in the past, you know, we're ready to to be in the present, and make the most of this year. But I'd say, yeah, I mean, the chemistry is, is really good this year. And we all we all really do 
love and support each other, which is awesome. Justin. Anthony, how do you think uh, you're a better defender than you were a year ago? How do you feel like you've evolved on that end? And what, what you know, just have you seen that part of your game evolve? Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, Coach Five pushes me every day to, to be very meticulous in, in my defense and the way that I, you know, am moving and stuff like that. So uh, I got to thank him a lot. But, I mean, in terms of, like, myself, I'd say – probably just knowing more and, and being more knowledgeable in terms of, you know, where I should be and making it easier on myself by get being in the right position early. And then obviously, you know, Coach Cliff has us training and, and getting stronger and quicker and faster every day. So uh, a combination of all those things has definitely made me a better defender. Tyler. Anthony, you talked about um, your confidence having to come from yourself. Uh, what have you done to try to work on that? Like, what's the what's the process been for that? And also, I know you've uh, been reading the Intentional Mindset by Dave Anderson. What I guess what kind of role has played played with that, and and why is that something that you wanted to read? Yeah, I mean, it, it was it seemed like a very interesting book, and so uh, whenever I was presented the opportunity to read it, I, I jumped on it, and it's actually opened my mind a lot. But but honestly, the confidence has just come from me, kind of taking a step back and, and understanding where I'm at and the blessing that I'm in. Cause when I was a kid, I'm, I'm dreaming about being exactly where I'm at right now. So I got to have some perspective about that. Just understand that every day I get to put the Jersey on to blessing. So I might as well have as much fun as I can with it. And when, when you're focused on having fun and you've got that why or that reason that you're doing it and, and that kind of stuff, it, it makes it a lot easier to just take some of the burden off and some of the pressures away. So yeah, at this point, I'm just trying to have fun and try to win. Tom Brew. Anthony, you guys have played seven of your first eight games at home. So I was curious, like when you go on the road, what, what do you try to do to get comfortable in a, in a, in a different environment, uh, like in pregame and such or shoot arounds? Mm -hmm. I mean, we, we try to bring the same energy no matter where we're at. So we try to focus with the same intensity and, and warm up with the same, you know, passion as we can, whether we're at home or away. So, I mean, that in combination with just trying to get some shots up in our pregame shoot around at the away gyms is is something that really helps us. But honestly, just staying locked in and, and focused on bringing in our own energy is something that we've really tried to focus on this year. Mike Schumann and then finish up with Mike Pegram. Yeah, Anthony, just getting back to defense and the scout a little bit. What are you guys seeing with, with Johnny Davis? Like what makes him such a tough cover and what are going to be the keys to slowing him down? Yeah, I mean, he, he's very, very hot lately, and he's been, you know, scoring well and, and doing everything well for their team. So just staying focused in and, and you know, having passion and I think taking some pride in whoever whoever has that matchup uh, throughout the game, just taking pride and making it hard on him. You know, if, if, he, if he shoots 15 shots, he's probably going to score some points, but just to make every shot hard and every point he gets – challenging is, is something that we really have to focus on, but he's definitely a special player and we're going to hopefully try to slow him down tonight or tomorrow night. Sorry. Last question, Peaks. Hey, Anthony, uh, Brad Davidson's that really kind of the team leader been there for, seems like forever. What, what do you respect about his game and what do you have to do as a guard? Maybe if you are, if you have to face him. I mean, he, he's a great leader and he plays as hard as he can every play. And I think that that's, invaluable in itself because you know not many people are willing to sacrifice their bodies and you know just go as hard as he does all the time so I definitely respect that from him but you know we're gonna try to come out and match his intensity and hopefully you know get a win it's been a long time since we won there so yeah.